Hi, this is Kim from Riot Art and Craft, and welcome to your creative space. So let's dive in and learn about how to mix resin. Holcroft Professionals Pour On Gloss is an easy to use one to one ratio artist resin. Perfect to use for high gloss finishes on your artworks or projects, or as a painting medium for flow art techniques. It's recommended to use disposable tools and accessories, including gloves, brushes, containers, mixing sticks, a mask or respirator, and drop sheets. Resin is very difficult to clean up if you get any on your skin or hands. The best liquid is hand sanitizer, which works quickly and effectively, or any sort of isopropyl alcohol-based cleaner. So before we start anything, be sure to pop on your gloves, and respirator or mask and in a clean container, a disposable one is usually recommended, measure one part hardener and one part resin. So for example 100ml of part A with 100ml of part B will be 200ml altogether. Here I will be doing 250ml of each part, which means I will have 500ml mixture altogether. Now with a wide flat mixing stick, I'm going to combine both parts together for about three minutes. Mix part A and part B until thoroughly combined, making sure there are no striations between the two parts. Scrape down the sides of your container and make sure you have blended all of the contents. Mix in a slow circular motion from top to bottom Raise your project off your table by a minimum of 5 centimetres so the drips can run off and your painting won't get stuck down to the table during the drying process. Some canvas may need another coat of gesso or an undercoat of an acrylic paint. You must seal porous surfaces such as raw timbers and wood with a sealer first if necessary. It is also recommended that a disposable plastic or paper drop sheet is laid underneath the surface being poured as drips and overflows may and will occur. Always make sure the surface is almost 100% level as possible. You can try and do this with a spirit level in the preparation process. A level surface will help spread the liquid evenly and give the best finish without the liquid moving to one side and dripping off. If this does occur however, don't stress. Simply put one or two popsicle sticks underneath the edge that's dripping over and this should easily level out your surface. From here you may add many things to your resin, including powdered pigments, inks, acrylic paints and glitter. Just be careful about how much of each you use. Anything liquid should be kept to a minimum, whereas powders, you're generally able to put in as much as you need. Pour your mixture over the surface that needs to be coated starting with the middle of the surface and work outwards. Then spread evenly with a silicon spreader or spatula or a foam brush if you like, but in this case I'm just using a popsicle stick. There are many different techniques you can learn with flow art. This one right here, I'm just creating a straight up pour. So have fun and play around. The bubbles in most cases will pop themselves almost straight away and the liquid spreads and finds a level where it will stay. It is recommended to use a butane torch to lightly sweep across the surface to heat the liquid slightly. This will soften the resin so it can spread more evenly and burst the little bubbles in the process. Make sure you don't hold your torch too close to the surface or you may burn the liquid and leave blemishes. If you're using a heat gun or hairdryer, make sure you are wearing your mask or respirator as it does blow hot air over the surface. Do not blow your breath onto the surface of the resin as moisture from your breath will contaminate the liquid and cause defects in the drying process. After the surface is completely covered, you may scrape away the drips along the bottom edges with a disposable brush or a popsicle stick. This will give a nice, clean, professional finish. Depending on how thick you've applied the rest of the resin to your surface, it will ultimately determine the length of drying time. As a rule of thumb, the ideal setting in the room will be dust free and a constant temperature of around 22 to 23 degrees Celsius. 
Your project should be touch dry in about 6 to 8 hours, but it is recommended to leave for 18 to 24 hours before handling. Or you can visit one of our stores nationwide. Thank you so much for watching and happy creating. Thank mm -hmm. you.